Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make the plant pot holders on our Jubilee quilt. We're not actually going to make the flowers today. That's going to be for another episode because the flowers are going to be the very last thing that we put onto the quilt. So for today, I'm just going to show you how to make these flower pot blocks with our little stems that the flowers are going to attach to. So for this, there's quite a lot of measurements. So you might want to go and get a pen and paper. And I've got my notes here that I'm referring to. So first of all, you're going to need a piece of background fabric, which measures four and a half by six, or if you're doing your rows six and a half, then it needs to be four and a half by six and a half. So it's entirely up to you. But the great thing with this is you can add to it or you can trim it down, and make it smaller. So that is going to be this part. Then you're going to need a piece of fabric, which is going to be your stem. And I've cut this at three quarters of an inch wide. And with this, all I do is fold it in. So I hide the raw edges. And then I'll show you how we're going to attach it between these layers. And then you're going to just put a little tacking stitch in. But to start with, three quarters of an inch wide. I don't worry about the length because I can trim that off afterwards because I don't want all of my flower stems the same height. For the flower pot, you're going to need three inches by three inches and three and a half inches by one and a half inches. So that's this piece and this piece. And then our two background pieces here, these measure one and a quarter by three inches and that one I've obviously cut wrong so I'll just need to trim that one down I think I've probably done that at three and a half let me just trim that down there we go so that's those and then our little side pieces here these measure one and a half by one inch and that all fits together to create that block. So I'm just gonna run through those measurements for you again. So our background pieces are four and a half by six. Our stem is three quarters wide and then you can make it as long as you want afterwards. This bottom piece here is three by three and these pieces are one and a quarter by three. This piece here is three and a half by one and a half. And these pieces are one inch by one and a half inches. And I'm just going to join all of this together to create this flower pot. So we're going to use a quarter of an inch seam and we're going to attach the two side pieces to the flower pot. Just making sure, because it's a white on white fabric, I'm just making sure I've got it round the right way. And if I was doing a lot of these, I would be doing chain piecing. I'm just going over to the iron now and I'm going to press these back. And then I'm going to join that to that. So that creates our flower pot. And then I'm going to take this top piece and I'm going to sandwich the stem in this seam. So I'm just going to press this stem. So just press the raw edges in 
to make it as thin as you'd like it to be. You may decide that you're doing green ones so you could applique them on with Bondaweb. You could put leaves, but I wanted my quilt just to be red, white and blue. So that's why my stems are navy blue. So when you've pressed it, I'm now going to sandwich this in the seam. So I'm just going to pop a pin in there. I'm not trimming this bit off at the moment. I want to decide that afterwards. So I'm just gonna sandwich these two together like this. So I'm going back over to the machine So I'm just going to give this a press. And obviously that stems far too long. So I'm going to trim a bit off, but I'm not going to trim it right down here because later on when I come to put the flowers on, I'll decide where I want my stems to go. And actually I've got another piece there that I can use for another flower pot. So I will show you how to make the flowers, but just to give you an idea for today, you're, you'd put a little tacking stitch there to hold your stem in place. You don't need to sew all the way down, you just want to hold it there. And then the flower would sit on the top like this. But as I say, the last video will show you how to make all the different flowers because they're the last things we want to do. So that's how you make your flower pot blocks and then you just join them all together like this using a quarter of an inch seam until you've got the row as long as you want it to be. So as always have fun and I look forward to seeing you here in the sewing studio the next time.